Y'all be ready for you. Steven, right? Yeah, uh, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you as well. I'll be your interview for today for Huge Ass Consulting. Uh, my name is Alex. I'm a third year at UC Berkeley, triple majoring in computer science, cognitive science, and Celtic studies. In my free time, I really enjoy to consult, I like to drink, and I also like to do coke. But that's a bit about me. How about you? Um, yeah, well, I guess my name is Steven. I'm a first year majoring in sociology. Um, I'm from SoCal. Um, in my free time, I guess I like to read a lot mm -hmm. and volunteer mm -hmm. and play the sax. Okay, quite nerdy, but that's kind of cute. So why are you interested in joining Huge Ass Consulting specifically? Oh, well, I saw your flyers on Sprout and it looked really interesting because you guys consulted for some pretty big companies. Yeah. yeah. I was just thought that was pretty cool. Yikes. Okay, well, do you know what really differentiates us from other consulting groups on campus? Like, have you done your research yet? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't. I don't really know. Yeah, so let me just give you a little tour of what our days look like here at Huge Ass Consulting. So usually we're all working really hard on our consulting projects, which require consultation, optimizing processes, streamlining processes, I mean, last week we were literally consulting for hours. I think a lot of what you're missing is that a big part of being a consultant here um, is probably consulting for our consulting clients. Does that clear things up for you? Um, I guess. <laughs> Alright, well, so now that I explained some things to you, let's continue with the interview. What do you say are some of your strengths and weaknesses as a candidate? Oh, well, um, something I really think I can do to improve. Hold on a second. Hello? Oh, what? Now? Alright, give me a second, I'll be right back. One of our exec members is having some issues. Okay. Hey, sorry about that. I never know some issues I had to take care of. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, no problem. Um, you got a little something. Oh, sorry about that. Thanks, man. Well, let's move on with the interview if that's cool with you. Yeah, sure. Alright, well, now that we've covered some behavioral questions, I thought we'd move into some more quantitative questions. Um, yeah. It's just that I was told that I didn't really need a big background in business mm -hmm. and, you know, I was told, like, you know, as long as I was passionate enough, like, you're yeah. Good. yeah, yeah, no, we don't expect pressure coming in to have extensive business experience, but all we really care about is your passion and also your consulting experience. We think that those two aspects will really allow you to succeed within our club. Oh, okay, yeah, sounds good then. Perfect. Well, our first quantitative based question for you is pretty easy. Most candidates get this correct, but um, we'll give you five seconds to uh, solve 11 to the power of 3, starting now. Oh, okay. 11 times 11 is 120. Oh, I'm sorry. Time is up. The answer I was actually looking for was 1,331. Um, how do you expect anyone to answer that in five well, seconds? It's a really common question. We ask all of our potential candidates. Uh, we own board feel like it's a really good reflection of your passion for the club because if you were more passionate, you probably would have gotten the answer. Well, let's move on to our second quantitative question. Uh, this one's a little bit you know more theoretical and actually challenging, but so based on what you know about annual revenue for startups in the Bay, give me a step-by-step -step explanation of everything you would need to do to maintain a successful hiring business. Um bribery? <laughs> Yeah, very true. Money can really get you anything here, whether that's cards, chips, coke, even friends. But like here, after just consulting, I found with some of my closest friends. We're really a tight knit community. Oh, uh, yeah, that sounds fun. Yeah, so let's move on to our final quantitative question. Good job with that last one. So, if you were to open up a coffee shop in Oxford, will it succeed? Um, so based on markets? No. Uh, population? No. Profit? Sorry, no. Coffee? No. Well, in Oxford? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, um, I guess I really don't know the answer then. Well, I think it's admirable that you 
can admit when you don't know an answer. That's a great trait to have. Oh, okay. I think that's actually it on my end for questions. Do you have any questions for me? Um, yeah, sure. I guess, like, when can, can I guess I can hear back from you guys? Yeah, well, it's after your last day of interview, so on the chance that you are chosen for a second interview, uh, you will receive an email as soon as we have made a decision. Okay, well, that sounds good. Thank you very much for your time, then. Yeah, yeah, of course. It was great meeting you today, Steven. Oh, sorry. Yes, this is the proper handshake. This is how we do like huge ass consulting. Sounds good. Yeah. Well, it was nice meeting you again. Have a great day. Nice to meet you. Yeah.